you guys i wanted to do this video because i was just sitting out in my garden um as the sun goes down and i don't know what made me think about looking or just pulling off some of the dead flowers but i wanted to show you guys what is hiding inside of the dead the flowers that are about to die hopefully, hopefully you see that I'm not sure what type of pest this is. So I had to put it on the table, but for some reason, something told me to, I don't know, take off a dead flower. I don't know, maybe one was falling off and I just took it off. But I wanted you guys to know what to look out for inside of the dead flowers. It's this little thing right here and I have to do some research to figure out what exactly this is I'm, I'm just surprised to be to find this worm inside of the flower, to be honest. Um, you usually catch them, you know, you usually catch them on your leaves. So I was just like, just really surprised to find this little sucker on my flower. But this is going to be a quick video, but I'm going to go ahead and check like try to take off some of my other dead flowers because i found one in here and i don't know if they like to live in the ones that are moist a little bit i'm not sure but um just you know look out for some flowers that look like this and just check to see if you'll find any of these in here so but yeah so right now i'm gonna go on the other side See if I have any other dead flowers. So, you see this one. This one's about to die. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that off. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna examine this one to see if it, if it, if it's any in here also. Because you know I've been spraying my, um, I've been spraying my cucumber plant, you know, to prevent. You know like the cabbage worm or whatever it's called but still it's like especially like in the new growth if you start to see uh, let me see like little dots like this hopefully you can see it Ugh. like little black dots that means that it, it's a worm or a cabbage loper is around on this plant. So I'm gonna take this one off also. I wanna keep like the, you know, the good flowers on. But I just want you guys to like be aware of like, you know, what other areas you can find these worms at. I don't know if they just hide in the flower, inside the flowers until, you know, morning time and during the afternoon time. To come out and start eating at your leaves but i just want to you know show you guys another way of trying to get rid of you know any of those cabbage lopers so like i said i'm just gonna pull off you know majority of these dead leaves i mean dead flowers to see if i find any more inside of these so I'm gonna like sit at the table and show you guys. And I found another one. Oh, look at that, look at that. No, it's two. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad that I discovered this because this is crazy. There's two cabbage lopers or whatever this is. I have to look it up inside of like one of the leaves that are, one of the leaves, oh not leaves, one of the flowers that, you know, in due time is gonna fall off, but still, you know, I'm thinking, oh yeah, I got everything under control on my cucumber leaves, or just on my cucumber plants, and to, just to find this. So you guys, you know, be aware of these little pests or whatever they are. Like I said, I have to do my research to figure out what they are and I can put it 
like you know in on the video to let you guys what know what it is but this is crazy man get off me Ugh. get off of me <laughs> this is crazy look at my cucumber okay let me okay let, first of all let me show you guys my cucumbers that are forming out and i'm hoping that you know the flowers will bloom so that just in case the bees don't pollinate it enough i can go in and pollinate it hand pollinate it okay so i have another one right here so that's two i found like a baby one right here that's three and i have another one right here look at that that's four i had another one somewhere oh this is five so i'm excited for my cucumbers okay okay so back to the task let's wait okay so here's another dead one and you have to realize sometimes these flowers lay on your leaves Okay, so, and that's why I try not to plant too many so, cause you know, it, it's just, what is this on here? It's just, it takes time. Look at this, I done kept this flower under here. It caught, possibly could have had like a caterpillar in there or whatever it's called, cabbage roper, whatever it's called. See, that's dead, okay? So I'm just trying to take these off. I mean, they, eventually they'll fall off, but I just feel like this gives the cabbage lopers time to, you know, get to your leaves, you know? But yeah, for the most part, like I just sprayed my cucumber leaves down with some neem oil. Um, and I can do a video showing you guys my homemade spray that I make for like my cucumber plants. But I wanted to show you guys like my plan for my cucumbers. So the plan is I, I built this little trellis because this trellis that I originally had for them, it's like a, it's like a gated or whatever, whatever type of like this, like this right here. It's like that, but I just expanded it, expanded it out. Um, but yeah, so I built this because, as you see, my cucumber plants were outgrowing this trellis. So I added this. This is like five feet. And I added one, two, three, four, five, six stacks. And then I have the stack arms. As you see, now I have to, I still have to add some to this side. But the plan is for like the cucumbers along here to grow like a cave. Like go to the top and then now as you see I'm trying to train them to start you know raveling on here and I have to get some more um, arm stakes for this too but to ravel around and just come um, on this side and go down so that's going to allow my plant you know to continue to grow instead of just going upward 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 you know so I think this is just you know be able to I'll be able to maximize the amount of growth for my cucumber plants and then I have some on this side right here and the plan for this one is to you know and I got a pretty good amount of stack uh, stack arms right here but the plan is to have it continue to grow up 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 and then I have to add some more stack arms up here but to go across and on other down the other side and like I said I, I still have to add more stack arms along here to go down but you know in due time they're still growing right now on this side so i have time to you know save up to get me some more stack arms to apply to this trellis but but yeah so i'm excited about the cucumbers that i'm about to receive because it's been it's been a tough one with the cucumbers. Like most people say, oh, it's easy to grow cucumbers, but I just feel like sometimes it, it just depends on the person, you know? I'm pretty proud of myself for, you know, the amount of growth that my cucumbers have. 
but not like but not only growth but the amount of greenness that it still has which means that my cucumber plants are healthy and i like to see that so the prior, prior like previously oh man i should have you like yellow around the leaves and you know it, i mean everything is a learning process so but if i can ever you know help others through my videos because I know, you know, my struggles. I I really feel like that's the reason why I'm starting to make more YouTube videos so that I can reach a bigger audience. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that um, little trick that I, not trick, but just this, the, this new discovery that I found as far as, you know, looking for the cabbage lopers like finding cabbage lop lopers inside of like the flowers that are basically about to like dead flowers that are basically about to fall off of your plant so but yeah any way that i can you know get these things get these suckers off of my cucumber plant and keep you know beautiful whole list leaves i'm here for it even if it takes me you know a couple more hours in the garden to do this step I don't mind because right now it's almost like eight o'clock or seven o'clock it's around seven so the sun is about to go down I just want to come out when the sun is down to just enjoy you know my garden when it's not so so hot because it's like so hot like during the afternoon and evening time so now that the sun is going down basically you know we still have sunlight so I just I just like to come out and just enjoy just watching everything just still continue to grow so but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hopefully like you know if you're growing cucumbers you know once you, your cucumbers start to, to develop the flowers you know be on the lookout for that um i'm not sure if most people know about that i'm not sure but today which is i have to figure out what the day is um i i discovered this so, you know, I know that there's some new beginners who may not know about this. So, I just wanted to share. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.